Good morning, everyone. Taylor and I are about to head off to Walmart. And with that, we are gonna cover some things that we wish we would have known, or five things you should know before joining the railroad. So stay tuned and we'll be right back. and we decided to talk about what the railroad railroad things we wish we would have known <laughs> all right so number one what would you say your number one thing you wish you would have known about the railroad before I got hired on that I was never gonna see you <laughs> you are always gone that is very true I wasn't ready for that I wasn't ready for that either so with that said being a new hire at the railroad you're the low man on the total pole that's true and this kind of goes into number two which for me was seniority everything's based on seniority so being the new guy if you don't have the seniority you don't get a scheduled job that's true there have been what a few times where i got forced to a job that had a schedule to it, but that was only because I was the most junior guy and nobody wanted to work that job. But most of the time, how, okay, how long would you say I'm usually home before I leave again? Mm, average about 12 hours. 12 say. hours. Average. Okay. And then how long would you say I'm usually gone? From the wife's perspective, because for me, it seems like I hit the road, I go do my work, I go sleep, stay in a hotel for a little bit, and I'm coming home. So from my perspective, you're gone a minimum of 24 hours. Okay, that sounds about right. I would say more closer to 36, because you're 12 hours wherever you're going, you're 12 hours yep. rest, and then you're 12 hours back. So I would say it closer to 36. At least. At least. Okay. If you get called right away, wherever well, you go. Yeah, that's true, and there are some times where I'm held away at the terminal, for 30 plus hours so that does suck those days suck those days are long yeah. hotels aren't fun <laughs> okay so we covered the uh well you know yeah i would say that covers pretty much how long, how much you're done because whenever you catch a local or a road switch or a yard job you're pretty much only gone for about 12 hours tops. So, I guess these next two go hand in hand. Furloughs and chasing work. Sure, I have another one to throw in there too. Okay, well let's go with ladies first. What, what do you want to throw in there? The food prep, ladies. Food prep. Let me tell you, if you're a stay at home wife, stay at home mom, one, you're going to lose more sleep. I'll say that because your husband is going to come home at 3 in the morning, banging <laughs> crap around, throwing his 50-pound overnight bag and his cooler around. So you're going to lose more sleep than you already are, especially if you're mama. Now, the food prep. I have never prepared so much food in my entire life because he's gone for 36 hours. It's not like he has a kitchen to prepare anything. So you have to send him with meals upon meals <laughs> so he doesn't starve in case he gets held away, like he said, for 30 hours in a hotel room. They don't have a vehicle to go anywhere to get food. Yeah. Well, and let, let me say this. We have decided when I first got hired on, I was eating out at gas stations. Yeah. I was eating out at Waffle Houses and Casey Diners mm -hmm. and... 
pretty much everything that a dietitian says don't eat at, <laughs> we're eating. I was living at. Yeah. All the time. And not to mention, you know, you go out to eat, you spend more money. I was spending an astronomical amount of money every time I left the house. And so Taylor and I sat down, it's like, okay, we got to figure out something to cut down on how much money we're spending. Yeah. Or I'm spending, I should say. And so we decided to get a bigger cooler, um, get healthier food. Granted, we all know healthier food isn't, it's, it's not cheap. Not cheap. But we're not talking about crazy stuff either. But I had put on, over these last three years, a ton of weight because all I was eating was fast food. Yeah. And so I wanted to eat healthier while on the road while trying to save money. So that said, I do save a ton of money. I may spend a total of 10 to 20 bucks per trip, round trip now, versus, oh God, I was, I was probably spending 50 to 60 at least. You know, between, especially if you get held away for a really yeah. long time. Yeah, spending that on food for a trip. Yep, that's so, probably about right. It, so you, you get three trips a week, four trips a week. I mean, it's, it adds up, mm -hmm. adds up quick. And so does the, uh, so does the waistline. <laughs> so, okay, so food prep. Let's talk furloughs and chasing work. Furlough, hands down, is when there are no longer any jobs available at your terminal that you can hold and work with your seniority number. So when that happens, you're placed on a furlough. It is a mix between being laid off and fired but you're not fired but yeah so you have nowhere to work you, you have nowhere to work and so you're still an employee of the company yeah they are basically saying hey we still want you here but after 90 days or at least with my railroad uh the benefits expire and you wait to get a phone call or a letter saying hey please come back to work yeah. Or you have another option. Again, this is at least with my railroad, BNSF, is you have the option of chasing work. <laughs> Which means I may not be able to hold my home terminal. Well, that is pretty cool. Squirrel. <laughs> I may not be able to hold my home terminal, but a terminal eight hours away has spots open on their board and I can hold that terminal let's say by 15. So that means that if I bump in there at that given point in time there will be at least 15 junior people to me at that terminal so I can exercise my seniority and occupy a spot on one of those jobs on one of those boards and go work. That is what is called chasing work. And that is how we ended up in our current predicament. 18 hours from home. <laughs> 18 hours from home. We're from North Texas in Amarillo. And we apparently took a wrong turn in Omaha, Nebraska and ended up in Illinois. So here we are. Head into, uh, head into winter. Yeah. Um, so that's an option. We... I will say this, it's kind of worked to our benefit because we had both talked for a very long time in our old jobs about wanting to travel. So I'm not recommending anybody do this. This works for us. <laughs> it is not for everybody. We sold our house. We sold most of our stuff or gave it away and bought a fifth wheel in a dually. And we've been chasing work ever since and it's 
for the most part, it's been enjoyable. Yeah. We're going on, what, the third year? Third year. Yeah. So, I am not telling anybody to sell their house. <laughs> okay? That is what we did. That is something that works for us as a lifestyle we wanted. By no means am I telling anybody, if you have to chase work, sell your home, buy a camper, and say goodbye to a normal life. I'm, yeah. I'm not doing it. Don't blame me for that. That's on you. <laughs> so, let's see here. Color covered furlough, chasing work, seniority. Okay, let's talk about a benefit. I bet everybody wants to know about how's the money. I'm not going to give numbers. That's I, I don't care about doing that. No. What I will say is... Depends this, on where you are. It depends on where you are, what job you're holding, and how much you lay off. Yeah. Um, I work a lot of road jobs and extra boards. Those pay higher. I'm not a big fan of working in the yard. Those pay lower. But at the same time, yard jobs and scheduled jobs have set days off. So those, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of a benefit you get from that. Um, and the less you lay off, the more, the more you're going to make. Yeah. I will say this. This is the best paying job I've ever had. <laughs> um, Most jobs are better paying than what we had. Yeah, true. McDonald's pays better than what we had. Yeah, yeah, it, it really did. And that was me being an EMT and volunteer firefighter, and her being a paramedic. Um, I will say this: don't, don't go do any of that. <laughs> I'm kidding. If that's what you want to go do, go do it. True um, wording. I miss the medicine, but it doesn't pay. If that's what you're yeah, expecting. Yeah, it doesn't pay. Retirement sucks, um, but. It can be a very rewarding job. So, benefits. Um, the benefits we have here with this company are, are pretty good. They're really good. The benefits they're, they're, are really they're good. They're really good. They're really good. So, um, yeah. So, those are really kind of the big points I wish people would have t either talked to us about or gone a little bit more in depth over. Um, so, with that said if you like stability I don't suggest the railroad that is that is true it will it will probably take me another good two to three years to feel fully stable for the most part yeah. working the railroad it's definitely a huge change in the way you live um, I could see this like my kids growing it out of the house so it's just Taylor and I. It's just me and you. Yeah. Having um, kids, it would be hard. I, I think going to the railroad and having a wife and multiple kids at home and then switching to the railroad, um, I'm not saying it can't be done. I got some really close friends that do just that and have done just that that were in my conductor class. But it's, it's hard. I think those are things that honestly should be taken in to consideration. Um, I did it again. I took the wrong exit. Did I take the wrong exit? No, I, no you didn't. You sure? Yeah, I did. Did you? I did. Yeah, you did. Okay, we're going exploring. This is what happens. <laughs> Taylor and I say, hey, we're going to Walmart, and then her and I get to talking. And then... We get lost. We get lost. <laughs> so, here we go.